When we imagine a river, we picture water flowing gracefully from the mountains towards the sea. But what if I told you that some rivers flow in the opposite direction? Yes, there are rivers that have literally reversed their course, flowing away from the ocean or even appearing to run uphill. It sounds impossible, but it is a fascinating reality of nature and, at times, human ingenuity. Consider the case of Chicago River in the United States. Originally, this river used to flow into Lake Michigan, but in the late 1800s, Chicago had a huge problem. All the city's sewage was being dumped into the river, which flowed right back into the lake, which was also the city's drinking water source. It resulted in massive disease outbreaks like cholera and typhoid. So, in 1900, engineers did something incredible. They literally reversed the flow of the river. In 1900, engineers undertook one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects of its time. They reversed the flow of the river. By constructing a system of locks and canals, they redirected the river's course so that it flowed away from Lake Michigan and toward the Mississippi River Basin. This engineering feat is often hailed as one of the greatest of the 20th century. It saved thousands of lives and turned Chicago into a symbol of modern urban planning, though it also carried ecological consequences in the downstream. But nature too has performed its own dramatic reversals. Take the Amazon River, the largest river on Earth. Millions of years ago, geological evidence suggests that Amazon originally flowed westward toward the Pacific Ocean. The gradual rise of the Andes Mountains, caused by the slow but relentless movement of tectonic plates, acted as a colossal barrier, forcing the river to change its direction. Over time, its waters carved a path eastward, ultimately creating the massive basin that drains into the Atlantic Ocean today. Rivers can also temporarily reverse that direction under extraordinary conditions. During powerful tidal bores, such as those observed in the Hooghly River in India, seawater surges upriver, making it appear as though the river is flowing backward. Similarly, during tsunamis and major floods, river near coastlines can be seen running inland, sometimes with devastating force carrying boats, debris and entire structures with them. But why do these reversals occur? The answer lies in the basic principle. Water always flows from higher elevation to lower elevation from regions of greater pressure to lower pressure. When the gradient changes, whether due to tectonic uplift, human intervention or sudden oceanic forces, the river's direction can change as well. And this is where it becomes important for anyone preparing for competitive examinations like UPSC. The study of river course changes is not just theoretical. It affects floods, agriculture, settlements and disaster management. In India, the shifting courses of rivers like the Kosi, often called the Saur of Bihar, have displaced millions destroyed farmland and required constant government intervention. Understanding why rivers meander, shift or even reverse is crucial for urban planning, dam construction, irrigation project and climate change policy. Can you name more such rivers which have shifted its course? And also tell us the geographical reason behind the shift of river course. Tell us in the comments.